Well hello there, how are you guys doing? Thank you for stopping by my channel, I appreciate you. So today I'm going to talk about officials vs unofficials. As most of you know, at least at the time of recording this, which is in September, officials have become quite a problem. The lag, the ping, FPS, all of that is crazy. It's okay when you're in a server with 15-20 people, but as soon as it starts getting to proper numbers, it becomes a wasteland of not being able to even run straight or get even fighting and it's pretty crazy. Now I haven't played in officials now for about three weeks because, well, simply because of those reasons and I have seen that being commented in most of my videos that are just terrible that they even blame the whole game because of it and a lot of people don't really consider unofficials for whatever the reason is i'm not sure i don't even know if everyone even knows of unofficials now most of you probably heard that sentence and were like you're stupid everyone knows that but trust me when i tell you there are quite a few that just turn on the game they don't know much about it like me and you they just bought the game because they like dinosaurs and they don't know about unofficial servers and the whole world and different play styles that they can offer so I'm going to be talking about official servers a little bit here and some of the unofficial servers that I play in and the one that I own too. Just to give you guys a little bit more of an idea of where you can play, should play, why you should play. And then obviously you can make your mind up if that is a server for you. Because there's a lot of great servers out there that I probably won't mention. So do feel free to mention them down below if you play in them and you like them. Share your opinions and thoughts about servers. Even servers that maybe I mentioned and there's something you don't like about it or you do like about it that I forgot to say. It helps because the whole point of this videos to help other people find servers as well that might work for them they don't have to rely on just opening up and playing in officials and i think i've got not many servers to talk about but quite a wide range in terms of play styles so it should be interesting and of course as usual all timestamps are down below with the title being the server so if there's just some service that you just want to hear me talk about down below in the description you'll find all the timestamps too so let's first talk about official servers in general when it was good why it was good why it's bad etc etc let's get on to it so when you load up the aisle Arima, of course then you will see all these official servers from european servers to american servers to australian for example i do play in na quite often when i did but the ping was sometimes a bit higher than in eu because i live in england for example i just preferred playing in na because they were usually more aggressive more fun eu seemed a bit more afk <laughs> let's say there wasn't as much violence going on in there but anyway officials have absolutely no rules meaning that you can mix pack you can body camp you can overpack you can do whatever you want also no admins well apparently they do but i would probably not even lose money if i bet one pound on every time someone saw one because i've personally never seen an admin on there but that's a discussion for a different video put it this way if you get stuck you're fucked you need to kill yourself or just die of first or hunger whatever gets you first or if you're lucky enough if you one call your tits off something will come and it will kill you or worst case scenario it'll know what situation you're in and it'll just teabag you but officials were still something that i swore by i played in them because i preferred the no rules i didn't like mixed packing and we did come across more and more as the time went on but as you've seen in some of my gameplay videos i barely enjoy fighting mixed packers oh the mix packing for yeah sometimes i die to them and it pisses me off but then i know what my plan is grow and kill them but killing sound that most would regard as unfair gameplay which is mixed packing then it just feels much better when you kill them because it's like fuck you twice you had an upper hand and you still didn't win but note how i said there unfair it's not rule breaking that's the thing you gotta understand even though i don't like it i can't necessarily complain about it i am playing in a server like officials which have no rules at all but if you like mixed packing and you don't really care then by all means you're not technically doing anything wrong just most people will hate you <laughs> and they will try and attack you even more than before but that's pretty much it about officials there's not much you can talk about it's very simple you turn it on you get in you play you just try and survive and that's about it right let's start off with the zoo probably the most one of the most popular aisle servers out there most people have mentioned it even before i even knew about it i got introduced to it about a, uh, what a year a year and a half ago something like that and it's pretty much 
official servers in the terms of there's absolutely no rules and it is just a massive frenzy but yeah um pretty much if you go to northwest you're gonna see a lot of dinos and stegos hanging out you know they kind of chill together they work to grows if I, I believe grows are every four hours or something like that unless that's changed i haven't been there for a few months now so a lot of people hang out they get violent together they fight they have dinos that usually clean up the bodies and stuff like that's quite funny actually they're kind of like there as the janitors is it but it's still a nice little community a lot of people chat their talk you know chill and just have a lot of fun now if you don't care you just want to play dinosaur you just want to hang out with friends and you don't care about what species you are by all means i would say this is the server for you there's not much that i can talk about this one as there isn't a lot to it as there are no rules so it's pretty much just get in and play but yeah no rules and want to hang out this is definitely a server for you especially to practice your fighting skills there are also server announcements in game to tell you the grows are coming and the only, but the only way you can avoid that as well if you don't want to be grown just so you know is to save look before that now let's talk about the server that i currently playing the most i've got to say i'm very proud of this person because they've made a server that truly makes the aisle feel like a complete different game and that's gotta be petite peds which is run by and made by poutine italiani this is his youtube channel as well feel free to check him out his server it has a few rules but it's still considered very low rules most of the rules are just don't be a dick kind of rules and he's got rules for herbivores and got rules for carnivores he has got for humans too but i'm leaving them out because humans are just unplayable at the moment they're not even playable in the server anyway so it's no point talking about them at the moment but his rules are pretty much no mixed packing group limit rules which means let's say uters if i'm correct it's eight uters or nine uters in a group limit so you can't exceed that unless you have babies but once they grow to juvie they have to move which i think is cool i know some people might be against that and i usually like you know like i've said a little bit at the beginning i play an official service usually i like at least i used to when it was good still because i like no rules even if that means i fight mixed packers but i've got to say this creates a much bigger balance and he actually has a system in the game where dinosaurs are limited so you won't find let's say 40 uters running around center because there's a limit i don't know what the limits are but let's just say for example two uter packs or something like that is a limit so if you, that's the only kind of downside so if you do want to play uter and slots are all taken up then you can't but trust me i know that sounds like a downside but once you play in this server if you haven't already when you actually feel what the ecosystem's like i've never seen anything like it you'll see some videos that are up some that have already come out since this video i'm recording now and even in the damn jungles i'm finding dinosaurs like in the jungles and i'm not talking about just spawned in and they're just running by chance i'm talking about i'm running through the jungle they're just dinosaurs there waiting to kill you like it's crazy like everywhere feels like an ecosystem you know you there's always action everything always feels clean and fair there's no overpopulation of any dinosaur let's say and the admins are always active as well that's another great point as well so if you're stuck or if you need help help or you see something that's unfair they are there to help which is a big plus because if you run in a server even if it's no rules you kind of need admins you know even to unstack you but yeah i would highly recommend checking this out like i said if you've seen some of my recent videos you see how much action there has been that's all been in his server i have also mentioned it when i was in his server so you don't have to get confused on which video it is it's in the intro and i've also always left the, the name of the server down below so you can check it out just like i will with every server here i'll leave all the names down below they just type them in when you're on the aisle and bam all right and the next one another very popular server that everyone knows especially if you used to play legacy would be asura now asura is pretty much hell in the aisle absolutely no rules as well it's very different to even the zoo the zoo still feels more like crazy but you know you still find friends in a sense but asura if you find a friend then you're just one lucky son of a bitch because everyone there wants to kill you there are clans everywhere like for example i was playing there quite a lot recently and um if you look at the split or if you look at northwest and if you look at pretty much shallows where it begins towards northwest we will always run into groups of dinos and always the same dino same skin so there are clans <laughs> here to get you and some of them are even very cheeky i'll let you listen to this for a second gives me free dots but i'm full of free dots let's go before those tenors get wind of us 
So if you hear that, it just sounds like a tenor. Just for calling, right? Now, I will be making a video on this. So you'll, you'll be able to see it all better. But that tenor was for calling to lure predators there. And when the predators get near, Serratos, because, you know, there's no rules so you can mix back in the server. Serratos come out of the bushes and then then have Trudons as well as scouts to find you. If you manage to escape, they'll bleed you so they can find you. And damn, these are like professionals, man. They're not even messing about. These guys are sitting at home and they're making plans together on how to fuck your day. And it is a crazy server. But if you do enjoy mix packing, which as I've said many of times, and I'm going to sound like a hypocrite now i am against it but i did enjoy the fuck out of mix packing when i played in this server because you have to we tried playing normally we we're trying to be just all uters and yeah everything would come across was mix packing so it would always be a heavy disadvantage so we thought you know what since we can mix pack let's do the same and let's create some fun outcomes we were serratos with a carno and a uta at one point and we we're fighting serratos and carnos on mix packing with also another tenno and it was just it's very interesting it's a very different kind of play style but do go in there with a group of friends because you will get grouped on that's the only thing with it so if you like absolutely hell no rules and mix packing is almost completely normal in the server like it's actually probably more normal than just respecting what most people would say you should play like which is just be herbivores together or carnivores shouldn't be together unless they're the same species let's say but yeah absolute madness if you like that kind of play style asura's for you and yeah let's move on to the next one The next one is actually my own server, Foreign Land. Foreign Land low rules to be specific when you're searching for it. Now, it is a, at the moment a very dead server. I'm not going to lie to you and try and sell it to you. You know, I am kind of currently just waiting for the next big update, which will be Gateway. And then I will be activating it again. Now, you can play in it. What I mean by activating it is that I'm not really promoting it too much at the moment because, of course, there's not that many people that are playing in it because kind of after update 6.5, it was full. And then a few updates happened where maybe it a bit hard at that time to find servers i didn't do too well with promoting it because i'm very new to this <laughs> so yeah it pretty much went down and down and down and uh yeah but hopefully it has a brighter future because foreign land again is very low rules it is pretty much meant to mimic official servers because at the time and for most of the time i've always played in official so i wanted a server where my own let's say fans friends everyone in my discord let's say could join in and have fun there now the aim of the server for one day is to just be a survival server with the only rules being no mix packing no body camping the rest is completely up to you how you want to play you can be aggressive as a herbivore you can be as naughty and spicy as you want to be all right i'll leave the link to the trailer to the server as well below so it kind of will give you a bit more of an idea about what we're aiming for it to be now there are active admins at the moment not so much because of course there's no one really playing in it but when it becomes active there will be admins just like there were when it was an active server we had admins pretty much all day and all night and i do run um, events there sometimes i still do that now where we do like battle royales or wars but yeah and we also do like free grows here and there and when it is quiet and people need food because that says not that many players on you can always if you've joined the discord ping an admin and they can drop some food for you now, of course you can't get carried away with that but we'll help you out as much as we can because we appreciate you playing in there of course but yeah that's it for all these servers these are the servers that i've played in there are quite a few more of course they're quite popular too but i've just never set foot in them so i don't want to talk about them because i'm probably going to get a lot of things wrong but like i said at the beginning of the video feel free to let me know your experiences in the servers if you've played in any of these i've said if they were good or bad and why let's have a little chat about it because if there's some other good servers that you play in i'd like to know about it and maybe i'll jump in them too well apart from that hope you guys enjoyed the video i'd love to see you guys in the next one and like i said any thoughts leave them down below even if it's any thoughts on what i should talk about next but yeah have a great day and peace